Hello everybody and welcome back to Kerbal Space Program where we are currently working on our space station as we have been for a long time here. And we now need to bring in our PMA-3 which we just went and retrieved after, you know, flinging it out into space. It's fine, it was completely deliberate. And we are going to bring that in and dock it here to the Zenith port. That is the overall idea anyway. So we need to hop over to the shuttle and we need to set the Zenith port as our target, which I think it already is set. It actually saved that, which kind of surprises me. Yeah, that is absolutely set. So what direction do we need to go here? Well, I want to, we're currently pointing at the target. So we know from our current direction, we need to go like up over here, right? It's gonna be kind of awkward in terms of our vectoring, but we need to go up. Certainly. What direction is this? That's kind of backwards. Ish. Okay, that's forwards. <laughs> sure, I guess we can head somewhat forward. We need to go... I actually want to go on to Kill Rot. I want to control from here. And we are going to bring this guy in the up vector. And we need to go... Kind of this way. Which would be in the right vector. So we're going to go a little up, and we're going to go quite a bit right here, is going to be the idea. And I'm just lining this up over here. Okay. Probably even more right, to be honest. And then we're just going to have to bring this to a halt once we get a little closer. But we're not really in line to be making a run at this, at this moment. So let's just move ourselves up a little bit. We're going to have to kill that up vector quite soon here, I feel like. Yes, I'm going to do that now. So we're going to bring that up vector down to somewhere around here. Okay, that is significantly better. And the right vector needs to go away as of now. So we're bringing that on over. And now we actually do need a little bit more up vector here. So I'm going to bring us up. Actually, hang on. I want to align us this way. That'll make things a lot easier. <laughs> okay, now we're going to get some up vector with our current up velocity. That'll be good. Now, where is this actually going to be at? I don't know where that vector is. So let's get some forward velocity as well. There we go. Now we can see where our velocity vector is. And that is very convenient. I want this to be right up over here or so. Okay. Now we're going to want to drift a bit forward here. Yeah, this is a much, much better angle. Things are still improving. Okay. Things are going to start getting a little bit more awkward for us. So at this point, I want to control from here again. And this is where things are going to get really strange. But we're going to point at the target. And we need to think about going virtually forward here, but also a little bit off to the right from our current vectoring. So a little off to the right, but mostly we're thinking about going forward here. Yeah, vectoring is going to be very strange from this angle. So that's going to have to be a bit of a concern. But we can see our current velocity here, and we can utilize that to get a good idea of where we need to go. We don't care about the actual angle of this. We just need to bring it in to a reasonable position. So in terms of the nose cone here, the nose is going to be a potential issue for us. We could extend this out further, and that might not be a bad idea. But for the moment, let's just hold this vector. And we'll see what this ends up looking like. We might have enough space to bring it in if we bring it in perpendicular to the line of the station. So like parallel with the truss segments would be the idea. In theory. We'll see how that ends up going. So we would need to bring this up. And then once we get into roughly into position here, we would rotate so that we are parallel with this, right? So like our wings are parallel here. That would be the idea. 
We're definitely a lot closer now, no doubt about that, but we need to get even closer. So I'm going to warp us forward a bit to about here or so. And I'm also going to change our vectoring here. We're in a much better position here, but it's not perfect yet. That's most of our velocity dealt with there. Okay, there we go. So at this point, we need to go from the perspective of this up a little bit. But not very much at all, just a little bit up. So we're going to get about 0.2 meters per second here or so. Then I want to rotate us so that we are rotating around this axis, right? And I want to bring us out over approximately here. Now, this is going to cause us some issues until we get that settled out. Cool. So we're going to have to continue to rotate here, obviously, but that's fine. We should automatically rotate as we cross over this median point, which I think should be this zenith point. Unless I miss my guess. So let's see here. Uh, ish. Ish. <laughs> okay, it's fine. So this is, I think, a reasonable angle to be coming in at. I think that we don't need any more verticality at this juncture. So just having this go on the right axis is good enough for now. So we're going to bring this over and have this be somewhere around 0.3 meters per second. Mm, that angle is not the angle I thought it was. Okay, let's bring this back. We're reasonably close as it is right now. Let's just kill this momentum for the moment. And let's head in towards the target a little bit here. Something about like this. We're only five meters out right now. And I mean, our angling is not perfect. That's for sure. We could certainly hop over to the station and ease this transition by setting as target, controlling from here, and then pointing at target. That would make things significantly easier. And that's exactly what we're going to do. So we're going to get the station rotated a little bit here. I'm hoping that we don't impact the cannon arm, but I don't think that we will. Yeah, this is just going to make our angling significantly better here. Okay, we're going to need to adjust our vector a tiny bit here. It's very sensitive at this point. Let's just bring this in a little bit faster so that we have finer grain control over our velocity here. Yeah, this seems reasonably fine. So that's great. So we have our grab arm here. That is, of course, going to be utilized for relocating the P6 truss. But that's fine. That is not our current mission here. Our current mission, of course, is simply to get this PMA module attached. So that'll be a piece of cake here. It's just going to fly straight in. I'm not expecting any significant docking issues here. This is a tight area, but we can squeeze in here. I'm quite certain of that. So inward we come. I see some docking forces. And we are docked. Phenomenal. Okay, so the next thing that we want to do is probably kill all physics. So we're going to go on to kill rot, turn RCS off, and we're going to time warp a bit here. Now I want to release our advanced grabbing unit. With the idea being, we need to back the shuttle off. So the shuttle is in an awkward position here, right? We need to get out of here a bit. Okay, I want to also head out away this way a bit. Okay, we're going to rearm this guy. So I want to grab the grabbing unit. We'll disarm, and as soon as it's done disarming, we'll rearm it. It was just in its stuck position, so that's fine. Now, this is going to be awkward. <laughs> We need to figure out which direction this is going. This is the P module. This is the starboard side here. We know that. I just want to double check that that's true. So if we look at the... If we look at the diagram here, 
then we can see that the starboard module, th this is the uh, quest joint interlock here, that is pointing starboard side. So yes, that is correct. So that is starboard side right here. This is the quest joint airlock. So that's starboard side. And I do want to be getting rid of some of this vertical speed. And we're just going to make our way out this way a bit because I don't want to impact these. So that means we're going to have to take this out to this side, right? So first things first, let's furl the port side solar panels so that we know that we're not going to impact them. Let's furl these solar panels as well. Then we're going to need to jettison this at a certain point. I would like to not have to chase it down. That would be ideal. So I'd like to position ourselves and I'm going to disarm this guy for now. I'd like to position ourselves where we're able to grab this. So basically, I'm going to set this as our target. And I want to point at target velocity up. I'm going to turn RCS off for right now. I want to know what our target velocity is. Or actually, relative velocity, not target velocity. I don't want to point at target. I want to point at the relative velocity. So that's going to be out over this direction. From here, we're going to need to, I think, get over onto the other side of this, or just try to grab it right on top here. That might actually be the best way to go. Potentially. So let's turn RCS on here, and we are going to kill this relative speed. Okay. So that'll do for now. We're going to go on to kill rot. And we need to flip over here. So we need to be facing upside down from the station, right? Then we've got this tail that might be in the way. But what we want to do from here is I want to set the vector that we're going to be going at here. That is step one. So right about, well, actually, right about here would be the vector. But from here, we need to go up, which is actually up because we're upside down. And so it's not inverted. So I just want to get a little bit of verticality here and get up above the station. So we'll warp a bit until we are significantly above the station, about here or so. Then we're going to come to a halt on that. So we're going to bring that down to zero. There we go. Now we need to go backwards a little bit here. So we're going to go back. And I feel like we're, dri we're dif di dripping, dripping, drifting down a little bit here. So to that end, I'm going to push this slightly up. I can see that we were already going slightly up, but... Eh, we don't really need it, I don't think. I think that we're just going to go straight back here. So right about there or so. So we should now be heading this direction. And that is correct. Now we want to head this way until we are basically over top of the P6 truss. There we go. Just adjusting our heading an extra little bit here. We are not exactly over top of the P6 truss yet. And we're going to have to eject it before we grab it. But I just want to, I want us to be in about the right position to grab it. So that'll be fine. Okay, I think a little bit further here. Yeah, a little bit further. This is all going to be eyeballed. So that's going to be spicy. <laughs> no doubt about it. Let's start bringing this down to a halt. We're pretty close here. It's not quite where I want it to be. But about here. Okay. So that'll do for now. I'm going to arm this guy. I don't think we're exactly lined up. It's very hard to tell with instru without instruments. It's very hard to tell with just eyeballing it. Yeah, we're not exactly lined up. I can tell you that, but it's probably close enough. Let's hop over to the station now. 
We're going to furl this. We're going to retract that radiator. Now, in terms of struts here, we probably want to de-strut this. So I'm going to have Bill EVA. Anytime you can, Bill. That would be great. There you go. Bill is going to EVA, and Bill is going to go down and de-strutify this. So we're just going to hop down here, and we can just stow the struts inside of this container, which is exactly what we're looking to do. So we'll just position somewhere around here or so. We're currently sitting, like, right on it. So that's fine. I'm going to store struts. We actually can't store it here, but we can store the strut here, which will be fine. We'll store this strut here and this one. And there should be, I think, another one. Yes, right here. We've got plenty of struts here. That's not a concern, but that will now... Oh, there's another strut here. Okay. That will now start, like, freely waving in the breeze. Not that there's any breeze in vacuum, but you know what I mean. So we're going to head back in at this point, back up to the shuttle. Excellent. And downward we go, and that's a little too much downward. We need a little bit of forward here, and let's grab and board. Now that we've got those struts removed, I just didn't want to leave those struts behind. They would have automatically decoupled, but they would have gone all over the place. I'm not sure where they would have been. Now we know that they're in this container. So we're going to undock this guy. This is where it could get kind of messy. We'll see. Next, I want to set this docking port as our target. So that is going to be... Where are you at, docking port? There you are. I want to set this as our target. And I want to control from here. Point at target. That should get us lined up, in theory. And then we can go in and get it. We'll see how this goes if we manage to thread this needle. It's going to be spicy. I want to go towards target here. Okay. We're going to need to adjust our velocity, of course. Because that's not directly lined up in terms of our thrust vectoring. But inward we go. We are here to catch the P6. And hopefully we manage to grab it. And this should be a relatively easy dock up from this position if we manage to grab it here. If we don't manage to grab it, awkwardness could ensue. But I think we're in a good position for it. So let's accelerate in towards the target a little bit more here. I just virtually doubled our speed to 0.2 meters per second. And we can see it's definitely uh, decoupled from the station and just kind of drifting in space at this time. But we can just head on in. It's not moving with any considerable haste, and that looks phenomenal. Everything should be nicely lined up here, in theory, approximately. It's not going to be perfect, but it doesn't need to be. We'll get it all lined up over here after we get this grabbed. So in we come. Keeping an eye on our velocity, we haven't needed any major velocity shifts, but eh, we do need a little bit here. I want to just make some teeny tiny tweaks to it. Very minor. I'm not sure where we're going to grab this thing. If we end up grabbing the solar panel, it might be mildly awkward. I prefer it if we didn't, but I think we are going to grab the solar panel here. Um, Maybe not, actually. Yeah. Did we grab? Or did we bounce? I think we just bounced. Yeah, we just pushed this back towards the station here. So apparently we can't grab here. Hmm. Okay, we're going to need to head slightly forward from this current vector. So slightly forward here. This is eventually going to impact here. There we go. 
Now it's coming back towards us. Okay, now it's it's heading out over this direction. Gotcha. Okay. Ooh, that did not angle the way I wanted it to. Okay. Things are awkward, but... Things are very awkward right now. What direction is what here? Okay. Very, very strange indeed. Directionality is utterly bizarre right now. Gotcha. Okay. Let's see if we can't grab this thing here. We'll need to go downward a wee bit or at least head out over here. Ooh, that was very close. Uh, we've given it a bit of a tumble. At least we're going to get more space here, right? So we're going to get more space. That's actually reasonably fine. So at this point, I want to rotate on over. We are definitely impacting the station here. Let's get some reverse vectoring. This is not the direction I want. What direction is reverse here? There we go. Okay. And we're going to need to, of course, head towards the target here a fair amount. As long as we grab it around here, that should be reasonably fine. Eh, that was definitely awkward, but it's not the end of the world. We didn't break anything. So all is looking fine here. It's definitely... We imparted a fair amount of velocity into it. But that's fine. We'll go get it. So I'm just going to continue to adjust our vectoring here. All of the controls are awkward. They're not even, like, reversed. They're just kind of all over the place right now, which isn't shocking, to be clear. Okay, so we're going after this thing. We're going to be targeting, grabbing it in the center here. It doesn't have a lot of spin to it, so that should be reasonably fine, all things considered. We're going to continue to adjust our vectoring here. Oh, this is very strange. Okay. <laughs> but off we go. We're now heading towards the target. We knew this one would be a little awkward. No doubt about that. I went for it, and we didn't get it. But that's okay. So we're going to head towards the target at around half a meter per second or so. There we go. Now, we're currently heading directly at this docking port, right? Which isn't necessarily where we want to be. Actually, this angling is interesting. This is very interesting. Okay, we're going to need to go, I think, ever so slightly forward here which is this way. And we just pushed it. Okay. Well, that's definitely not what I was looking for, but I guess it's okay. Let's just shove this thing out of here a little bit. Let's put it on kill rot. And let's just get it a little distance. There we go. Next, we need to rotate ourselves over towards target and I actually want to be a little below the target but let's go unfortunately we pushed it out at another meter per second here but we can definitely grab this so I just want to bring this guy right on in here the grab arm keeps being at a slightly awkward angle and the controls are wacky. And I think that's because this is probably rotated 180 degrees. And so things are very, very unusual. That's the reason we're having some difficulties here, but it's not the end of the world at all. Okay. We're gonna bring this right on in. We're now heading towards the target again. I'd like to grab it around here from this angle. So let's see how effective we can be at that. I don't actually want to go up here, right? I want to go a bit off. Maybe about here? I don't actually know what vector that is, though. Because things are very strange. But this looks about okay. Approximately. 
Let's see how we're drifting. Mm, approximately. We're a little too up at this point. So we'd put it about here or so. I'm going to put us on to kill rot at this moment. And I want to bring us over. Oh, that's yaw. Okay. The controls are so wacky. Gotcha. Somewhere around here or so. Okay. Now we're going to want to go like over here. We're a little on the low side here. What direction is backwards? You know, I don't actually know. We need to just bring this to a halt right now because directionality is complicated. Okay. I think this is correct. Ish. It's correct ish. Okay, so from here we need to turn smart ASS off. We need to control from here. Thank you very much. No, I don't want to rename the vessel. Stop it. Control from here. Kill rot. Okay, now that we know what direction things are, we can probably get there simply through rotation. So the idea here is we position ourselves about here. I want to yaw over this direction. Now that we know what direction things are, I think I over yawed here, but now it's basically pitch. Okay, we're going to need to go down a little bit here. And now that we know what direction things are, we can do that. We're not relying on instruments here. This is purely eyeballing, right? So this will be relatively fine. We're going to go backwards a little bit. But also down. Okay. That looks okay. And we're going to bring this right on over. Cool. Okay. Now we're going to go up a bit. And we're looking to grab it like right on this micro node. I'd like to bring us out to the right a bit as well. And then roll this over as we come in and have this at a slightly better angle. But this is probably going to be good enough here. And hopefully we can actually grab a micro node. I don't know. We'll see if we can grab this. It did not grab. It just pushed. Okay. That might have to do with our current pitch here. There we go. We got it. Fantastic. So now we need to go back to the station, right? So that is going to be out over this way. I'm going to use the engines to do that. So we're going to need to grab the... Apparently we can't grab the ISS from here. It's still loaded in. I just want to target it, but... Okay, I guess we'll just rotate around over this way and we'll just eyeball it. Seems fine. We've been eyeballing the whole thing from here, so... <laughs> Seems okay. So we're just going to pitch up like so, and then we're just yawing over. Eh, that's a lot of pitch. A little too much pitch. And we're going to just head back towards the station here. Pitching a bit down. Okay. Firing up the engines. And we can now see we're going towards the station. Excellent. And we're going towards the station pretty considerably right now. We don't currently have the uh, target here. So I would like to zoom out a bit, head down to the station here. And I would like to grab this guy as our target, if I can. Oh, we're still too far away. That's unfortunate. Can we grab this guy at least? Okay, that works. We'll go to relative velocity minus. We're about 8.5 meters per second apart right now, which is expected. This is not our final port, but it was the port I was able to grab. So we're just going to flip around to relative velocity minus. Physics warping as we flip here. And we're just going to kill this relative velocity. 
cool. This is the actual port that we want here. So at this point, I want to point at the target and we want to move our velocity around. Actually, that didn't change our target. Okay, this is the target that I want here, but sure, I guess this is fine. We're going to move our velocity up over to be towards target. About like this. There we go. Now we're moving towards the target, but unfortunately for us, we have the wrong target selected. So we're just going to head in at around half a meter per second or so for now, and we're going to get a lot closer. There we go. And we are going to set this guy as our docking port of choice. There we go. Phenomenal. And of course, we're going to have to uh, get this thing set up. That's going to be a, a whole thing. But for now, this will do. It is time to put a cut in here. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. And next episode, we are... I really should bring this to a halt before I put a save in here. Next episode, we are going to bring this guy right on in. And we are going to get this mission finished up. This one has been a lot of things, no doubt about it. You can leave your offerings to the engagement gods in the form of likes, comments, subscribes, and bell ringings, and a very special thank you to all of the channel members for making this video possible, including ALS Gamer, Shadow Wolf, Andy McGar, Upper Cumberland Gamers, Nick Smarty, Dimitri H, Punching the Microphone, Soccerman 12 UK, Kentogan, and all the rest. And of course, you. Thank you for watching. If you'd like to support the channel, you can click the join button down below the video, and as always, I will see you all next time.